Welcome to my chess ball. Today we are diving into a key concept for any chess player aiming to improve their end game skills. Opposition. If you want to understand how to use the power of opposition to win those crucial end games, you are in the right place. Let's get started. First, let's define opposition. In chess end games, opposition refers to the positioning of the kings in relation to each other. It is an essential technique for controlling the board and gaining a decisive advantage. If you are playing a king and pawn endgame, knowing how to use opposition can make the difference between win and draw. There are several types of opposition and understanding each can significantly impact your endgame performance. Here are the main types of opposition. Direct opposition. The kings are on the same rank file or diagonal with one square in between them. Distance opposition. The kings are separated by an odd number of squares on the same rank, file or diagonal. Here the kings are separated by three squares on the same file. Achieving opposition often involves maneuvering your king to the correct position. Let's look at few examples. In direct opposition, the kings are facing each other with one square between them. The three squares in front of the opponent king are called critical squares. If it is white's turn, white can win direct opposition, force black king to move away from the critical square. Then white will promote the pawn and win the game. Let's see how. White will move his king to c5, winning opposition. Now wherever black king moves, it will give up at least one of the critical squares b6, c6 or d6. Suppose black king goes to d7. Now white king will go to the available critical square b6. Now wherever black king moves, say d6, white can advance the pawn to c5. After king to d7, white can either advance the pawn to c6 or play king b7, winning direct opposition on 7th rank. White will soon promote the pawn, for example, king to d8, c6, king e7, c7, king f6, and c8 equal to queen. However, in the position where we started, if it is black's turn, then black can win the opposition and force the draw. Here, Black can move the king to d6 and win the opposition. Black can keep winning the opposition and comfortably draw the game. For example, c5 check, king c6, king c4, king c7, king b5, king b7 keeping the direct opposition, c6 check, king c7, king c5, king to c8, king b6 and again Black will win the direct opposition with king b8, c7 check, king c8. If white goes king c6, it is stalemate. If white king moves anywhere else, black will win the c7 pawn and the game is drawn due to insufficient material. Let's take another example where white is pawn down but can draw the game using distant opposition. In this scenario, if it is white's turn, then white can win the distance opposition and force the draw. Can you find the only white move to win distance opposition? Yes, king to f1. Now, if black plays g4, then white has many good moves like king g2, king f2, etc. If black goes king e4 or king f4, then white can win direct opposition with king e2 or king f2 respectively. However, if black goes king e5 instead, then white should not go king e2 or king f2. Otherwise, black will win the opposition with king e4 or king f4 respectively and will go on to win the game. So after king e5, White can maintain distance opposition with king to e1 with odd number of squares between the kings. 
वाइट कैन कीप विनिंग द अपोजिशन एंड ड्रॉ द गेम कंफर्टेबली प्लीज नोट दैट देर इज वन एक्सेप्शन टू दिस इन केस ऑफ कॉर्नर ए और एच फाइव पॉन इफ द अपोनंट किंग इज इन फ्रंट ऑफ द पॉन देन नो मैटर हु विन्स द अपोजिशन इट इज अ ड्रॉ इन दिस पोजिशन व्हाइट हैज वन द अपोजिशन एंड इट इज ब्लैक स्टर्न बट स्टिल व्हाइट कैनॉट विन द गेम फॉर एग्जाम्पल किंग टू ए सेवन ए सिक्स किंग बी एट किंग बी सिक्स एंड किंग एट नाउ इफ व्हाइट मूव किंग अवे फ्रॉम द पॉन देन ब्लैक कैन अटैक द व्हाइट पॉन एंड इफ ए सेवन देन इट इज अ स्टेलमेट हियर आर फ्यू टिप्स टू रिमेंबर ऑलवेज बी अवेयर ऑफ युअर किंग्स पोजिशन Keeping your king in a position often means being in a more favorable position to push your pawns or block your opponent's pawns. Use a position to control key squares. By achieving a position, you can control important squares on the board, often leading to the promotion of your pawn. Practice different scenarios. The more you practice and gain positions, the better you will become at recognizing and achieving opposition. Let us check your understanding of opposition via this end game position from Magnus Carlsen versus Hu Yifan game in Tata Steel Chess Tournament 2016. Magnus playing with white has only one correct move to win a position and the game. Please share your answer in the comments below. there is a surprise gift for the initial correct answer so opposition is a fundamental concept in end games that can turn the tide of the game in your favor practice these techniques and you will be well on your way to mastering end game strategies if you found this video helpful don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell icon for more chess content Share your thoughts and any questions you have in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.